Well, uh, how lovely to see you all here this morning. I mean, a 30% chance of both girls surviving, yeah. and you're told one of them has to go, which is, an, I mean, or even saying that now feels terrible and a heartbreaking decision you had to make. Tell us about the moment doctors told you about it. Um, well, we were told initially that they might have been conjoined twins, but once they discovered they wasn't, they then gave us the options of terminating the pregnancy entirely <laughs> or um, reducing the pregnancy down to one baby. The moment they told us, it was just another blow. Mm. Um, but for us, we didn't even have the conversation to make the decision. Just in a glance, I knew that Steve was united. And, um, and we both just said that neither of them were an option and we want to, to pursue and continue with the pregnancy. What, were the, what was the doctor's reaction when you said that? Um, they respected our decision. Obviously, they, they re reiterated several times that there is a high chance that there'd be um, an interuterine death of both fetuses. But... Obviously, for us, that wasn't the case. So, Steve, it's interesting that Carmel says even just a glance across at each other, yeah. and you both didn't—you didn't even need to say no. what the decision was going to be. No, just it, we just knew straight away. You know, a thirty percent chance—that's enough for us. And and seeing them now, so healthy, <coughs> so gorgeous, you must look back at at th th that choice that you were put into and think, my goodness, you know, what a terrible thing to have to think about and yet here they are yeah exactly and um, they, we call them our miracles they mm -hmm. are our miracles to be as healthy and as well as they are because not only was we told that you know they might die we was told that in this type of twin pregnancy there's a high chance of them having something wrong with them when they're born and um, so to be to be here with them today as healthy and as well as they are and to have developed normally is amazing for us mm. at what point at what point did you realize or did you know that the girls were healthy was it not until they were born that you really understood actually that they'd we, come through it we always knew that they would be born at 32 weeks via cesarean section and once they were delivered they got whisked off to special care unit so you um, still didn't really know at that point I no I didn't know I didn't see them until almost 24 hours later Dr. Hillary, I mean, a terrible decision for any parent to have to make, really and uh, they beat the odds, didn't they? They certainly did. I mean, the risks of um, cord entanglement are quite high, cord compression at any one point. After all, they're sharing one sack, two umbilical cords, but only one placenta, so one baby can get more of the nutrition than the other. So there are all sorts of risks and complications, but it's every parent's right to decide what risk they want to take and what they're prepared to take and even if you do operate to try and save one uh, in preference for the other you know there are risks with that as well you could lose both so it was a decision that worked out uh, brilliantly in the end and they're so cute aren't they they Fantastic. are brilliant lively inquisitive young things and they're totally signed up to our gmb sugar-free plan really are. and choosing the healthy <laughs> option this morning and reading the times <laughs> Absolutely lovely to see you all. Thank Carl you for coming and sharing the story. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, you've Connie. got two older ones and another little one. We've the got Charlotte ones. and Callum at home that are watching, and we've got Baby Carter with my sister. That's a busy old household, isn't it, in the morning, especially these two running around like this. It is, yeah. Brilliant. Great to see you. Thank <laughs> you so much. Thank you. Eric Pickles has taken the unprecedented step of writing to 1,100 mosques, calling on them to root out what he calls the men of hate.